Hello, this is Senator Roger Wicker, and I'm here with my favorite World War II veteran, my daddy, Fred Wicker. Uh, how you doing, daddy? I'm doing very well. Okay, now you are 96 years of age, is That's that correct. right? That's uh, correct. When you were uh, in, in Europe and you heard that the Germans had surrendered, how old were you? I was 21. Okay, and uh, where were you when you heard that the Germans had finally surrendered? I was at Castle, Germany, in uh, the province of Hesse, H-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, from whence came the Hessians in the Revolutionary War. Okay, and uh, and y'all got the word that the German general had surrendered, uh, that the, whatever was left of the German government had surrendered, and uh, what did y'all do? We uh, started firing our weapons. Okay, well, did you fire at the Germans or what? No, we just fired in the air. Right. Just celebrating. <laughs> in celebration. <laughs> okay, but you kind of knew um, for yes. several days before that. That's right. The Germans were surrendering right and left. Now, uh, did you know at the time that um, Adolf Hitler had already committed suicide? Did, had you I, that I, I did not know anything about that, so far as I recall. Okay, so you were 21 years old. And I understand that actually you did not leave to come back to the United States until December of that same year. That's right. And I'd you say put in from uh, Marseille, France, is that right? I, I left Hanau, Germany. Okay. On a, and, and rode a boxcar to uh, uh, France. Okay. The name down on the Marseille, Marseille France. And the callous staging area was right north of uh, Marseille. And uh, we got organized up there and packed and so forth and all the necessary things, getting ready to get on the ship. Okay, now how long had you been in Europe at that time? I got to uh, France on uh, June, on July the 10th. And before that, you were in Britain, of course, I across was, the Channel. That's right. Now, when did you get to England? I got to England. I would, uh, it was in January of 44. So you, you had been, um, you had been uh, in either England, France, Belgium, or Germany for some uh, two years, is that right? That's right. I'd been in Luxembourg. Okay. Now we have here, oh, you have, oh good. We have here uh, two helmets. Um, what do they represent? Those are, Government issue helmets for that soldiers. The, that in, the American in, soldiers. That's correct. Uh, war during World War Two, and then uh, what is this weapon here, Daddy? That is a Garand rifle. Okay, and uh, and so uh, this was the principal weapon used by the by, troops by, by the troops in, in uh, Europe, principally uh, uh, infantry. Artillery and other soldiers uh, carried carbines, a much smaller uh, weapon than that. Okay, and I understand General Patton was a particular fan of this weapon. He did. Well, finest weapon ever devised by the mind of man. <laughs> All right. Well, and that's, I'm sure he felt that way, and it may have been at the time. Well, uh, we just wanted to... Uh, visit for a moment on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of uh, VE Day, a remarkable moment in history, a pivotal moment in history that was made possible by, by uh, so many young people like you who, uh, who went over and fought for freedom and liberty. Yeah, most so, of us were young. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, Happy VE Day. Thank you. 75th anniversary. I appreciate it. Thank you.